Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. I want to get on here and uh, give you guys a little bit of an update. A couple things are going on right now, and uh, also a, a mod I'm thinking about for the Tundra. Uh, first thing, uh, some channel news. We have moved, uh, so temporarily we're going to be uh, in Ohio until probably right around the first or second week of September. So we're still here, we're still in the area, uh, just not where we were before. Uh, we still have the Tundra here. I had gone ahead and shipped the Honda to Texas, where we're moving. So it is now residing comfortably uh, at the new house. So we'll have that uh, back on the channel here uh, oh, in just a, a few weeks. In the meantime, uh, we do have a, another Honda that I'll be shooting some video of uh, that I have access to here. It's a 2017 Honda Sport Touring. So we'll be shooting that here coming up in uh, the next few days or so. And as far as uh, the Tundra goes, I've been thinking about the sport bar. You know, I'm a big fan of roll bars on trucks. I just, I think it makes them look, I don't know, meaner, tougher, better. I had one on the the Ram Rebel that I had before. It was the Go Rhino, I believe it was called the 2.0 Sport, I believe is what they called that bar. They don't really call it a roll bar. They called it a, a sport bar, hence the name, I guess. But I was thinking about doing uh, one of those specifically for the Tundra. Now, I'm not quite sure. The, the purpose of them really is, uh, it's really a light bar, I guess, so that you can add lights to the top of the truck if you want to. Now, if I do it, I'm not really looking to add lights to the top of the truck. If I did anything with lights on the Tundra, it would probably be in that hood bulge on the front. There's a, oh, a gap, I guess, or a, a venting area uh, that would fit a, a light bar perfectly. And I think it looks really cool, and there's some really neat ones out there on the market, so I may do that. So the only reason I would put the bar on the truck is for aesthetics. It's not functional. All it does is bolt down through the side rails on the bed. My problem with doing it is you have to drill holes. You have to drill holes through your bed rails uh, to bolt that thing on. When I had the one done on the Tundra, or the, the Rebel, and, and granted, I didn't do it myself, uh, they didn't do a really great job, I didn't think. It didn't fit perfectly. I mean, it wasn't far off. But it didn't fit perfectly, and that was due to installation. It was the first one that they had installed, and they just didn't get it quite right. And no one else probably would have noticed but me. And it was just kind of the way that it, they, it sat on the rails. It was just slightly more to the passenger side than the driver's side as far as the bracketing went on the side rails. Again, I don't think anybody else would have noticed that probably, but I did, and it always bothered me that it wasn't, you know, closer to perfect, I guess. You're never going to get it perfect, you know, down to the nth degree, but at least enough so that you couldn't see it with the with the naked eye. Um, but I'm not a big fan of drilling through the, the rails. Um, when they did it, they kind of missed their mark a bit, and they had to widen the hole, and it was... You know, really rough looking, I thought, uh, when you checked it out from underneath. You couldn't see it from the top. Nobody would have ever even known, except me. My other problem, <coughs> excuse me, with that sport bar in particular is it has bolts that go around to hold on a, it's almost like a decorative screen on both sides of the, of the bar. And those bolts are chrome nickel plated probably which gives you a silver or chrome look um, as you may know I am a uh, staunch anti chromist and I certainly wouldn't want to add anything chrome to the truck now <coughs> excuse me I did replace those bolts before on the rebel with uh, black anodized bolts 
holes. Now, the problem with that was is they started to rust, and then instead of being black, they really looked brown, or maybe a brownish black, I don't know, but uh, they did stand out a bit, and again, to me, uh, it didn't look exactly right. It didn't look like I wanted it to, and I never was able to find anything that that I could use that fit the holes, it was the right length and all that good stuff in the way of bolts that were a, a better finished black that wouldn't rust. I could have taken them off, I suppose, and painted them and, you know, but I didn't really want to screw with it. I wanted to put them on and be done. I didn't want ongoing maintenance with those. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking as far as uh, that particular bar for the truck. Now, of course, there are others out there when I had looked for one for the Rebel before, I had seen uh, a few different ones, but the problem was availability. It seems that nobody keeps these things in stock normally, and they're more uh, manufactured to order. You know, I'm a little skeptical that when you order something like that, that they're going to be able to deliver when they say they're going to be able to deliver. It seems to me that these days that you kind of place the order and you'll get it eventually, maybe. Um, but we are going to be moving uh, in not too long, so I don't want to order something and have it shipped here with the intent of going ahead and installing it, and then we move and it ships here and I don't have it for several months. Um, just not something I want to do. So anyway, that's another concern I have as far as putting one on the truck. Um, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think. What do you think a, a sport bar would look like on the Tundra? I think it looked pretty cool on the, the Rebel, but the one issue that I, I guess I would have had is that maybe they don't look quite right on a, on a quad cab or a double cab. That If you're looking at aesthetics, Maybe they uh, are more suited for a single cab truck. And I think a single cab truck looks the best uh, when you put a roll bar on the back as opposed to the, the the double cab. And the other issue I had with putting lights, because I did consider putting lights on the one that I had for the Rebel, was that it's set back too far. And by the time you get lights on it and project them forward, you have to clear, in essence, the roof of the double cab. So you'd have to either have them higher up in the air, which then you'll run into problems with being able to pull the truck into a garage, uh, or uh, kind of lose a little bit of the light coverage, I guess, because you're going to reflect somewhat off of the roof of the truck because you just can't get the right angle without shining them, you know, too high up into the air. So that's why I really didn't go ahead and do them the lights on the Ram Rebel. So that's uh, that's the next thing or possibly the next thing that I'm looking to do on the Tundra. I still, once we get moved, and we are going to be in an area where it seems that lifts are more common. Lifts and different wheels and tires. Uh, every truck that I saw almost in the area had some sort of a lift and aftermarket wheels and tires. So I think in the area I'm going to be in, it's much more common and there may be more shops and even the dealer that's willing to do some sort of a lift on the Tundra, specifically the 2018 and beyond. So I'm kind of uh, waiting a bit until we get there for the lift. I definitely want to do a lift on the truck, definitely want to change out the wheels and tires. I'm looking for a, a wider stance on the, the wheels, or the tires rather, and I'd like to have them stick out, I don't know, maybe inch, inch and a half, something like that, probably no more than two inches from the sides of the truck. Now that may require fender flares, which I'm not opposed to, I think done correctly, fender flares look really good on, on a truck, but you still, even if you go with the flares, want to have the, the tires sticking out just a little bit, maybe maybe about half an inch or so, I think is the best look for the truck. So we'll see about that. That uh, definitely is going to happen in the future. Um, and that will also 
get rid of, uh, I believe, the rest of the chrome or chrome look uh, material that's on this truck. I've eliminated, I think, almost everything else, at least on the exterior. Looking around inside, we do have a little bit of chrome left in here. The bezel surrounds on the, the HVAC system, and there is a some chrome work around the center console, around the shifter, stuff like that. That should be probably easily changed, I think, going forward, but we'll see. Anyway, just wanted to get on here, give you guys a bit of an update, what's going on with the channel, what's going on with me, uh, what we're looking for uh, going forward with mods to the, to the Tundra, and then uh, also we're going to have the wing coming for the, uh, the Honda Sport. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.